Hi everyone, and welcome to Ari Comic Studio, a brand new channel where you will be learning stylized drawing for comics and illustration. I am your new teacher, Arena Hunter. I have been passionate about drawing my entire life, and now I am so excited to share what I know with you guys. Today's lesson is Female Figure and Proportions Part 2. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, I remember last time was circle, circle, oval. This time, instead of a circle, so for the front we had the circle. Now when it's side view, it's an oval. And it's kind of tipped diagonally like that. Well, there's no kind of about it, it is. <clears throat> then, you know what? Let me show you. Just just so you're understanding what I'm what I'm doing remember this so <clears throat> this circle is now this circle this is now this this <clears throat> is now <coughs> sorry is now this here's something to keep in mind this is all pretty straight here. Okay. So, this circle, oval, nah, it's really more a circle, comes like this. Um, see, it kind of flattens. Now, I've drawn the body first, rather than the head first, because I find it helps with placement. So, drawing the chest first is actually the best thing to do, for me anyway. And now with the head, it's going to kind of go forward, but sort of over there. And we've got a circle this time. And I'll, I'll show you why later on. So now, I feel like I could make this a little bigger. Okay. That, like before, is the top half. So now, I'm so sorry about the resizing, guys gonna go down like this yeah that should be enough space we're gonna once again do this measurement from here to here I am doing it a little differently this time but bear with me okay it also just gives you an idea of how many different ways you can do this so doing this measurement and then making the mark like last time where the feet go and then we have those little triangles again except instead of like this or like this it's like this that kind of triangle and um, something I need to demonstrate here is that if we if we zoom in I drew these to demonstrate okay what I did when I was a beginner is the straight straight figure and then I wondered why it looked so stiff it also looked like it's tipping over that way this is the wrong way to do things what you really want to do is head chest i've got that oval again that's tip diagonal we've got the hips that circle okay and then the feet actually go back so imagine a line like this from here to here and our triangle again and once again in the middle is where the knee is gonna go okay and then like this so I will show you this trick let's just go back to our original thing so with that in mind we have the feet think about it as the heel lining up with the the end of the bum <laughs> the 
booty. <laughs> From here to there, it's like a... I draw that just to remember, you know. We curve around here, just a little, because the thigh is actually part of the bum. It's not... people draw them as separate things, but they are the same. That was actually, I learned that from uh, Paris Christou of Tunebox Studio. Sorry, Tune, Tunebox Studio. <laughs> uh, he's definitely one of the top teachers out there. Okay, straight, curve, curve, straight. Isn't that a cool trick? <laughs> I love it. So just to repeat what we just did there is we've got the thing going down. Knee. It's curve straight. Curve straight. And we've got the side view of the leg. Simple. <laughs> Things like this are just so good. I love I love all these little hacks and tricks. So what I will do for the arm, I'm gonna add another leg here because no one's ever standing so in profile that you don't see anything else of the other side. What I'll do to demonstrate the arm is another color. We've got the shoulder over here. It's quite simple because it's right at the top of this diagonal thing. You know, it's like these two circles. Imagine them joining up with this line. Okay, let's just take that away to avoid confusion. Okay, then remember this. Mark here, and there's your elbow. Mark this at the bottom of the circle is where the bottom of the crotch is there's a smaller circle for the wrist and now we join it all up the, the curvy straight curve thing she's leaning really far back but um but it still works it looks like that for now so yeah there we go i'll move the move this slightly forward only slightly okay and then the hat remember we're not worried about hands yet there are plenty tutorials on how to draw hands at the moment but i will make one in the future there's your arm usually this kind of arm messes up the silhouette so what i will usually do we'll get into poses and stuff in another video but if you just imagine not imagine if you just take this elbow to the side and then you imagine this rotating a little so it'll be a little further up what am I doing okay <laughs> I forgot what I was actually trying to do what I was trying to do is put her hands on her hips, so put the wrist where you kind of want it to be and then do this again. And you see now she's not really, now she's not obscuring her silhouette so much, which is also something I'll get into. It makes the picture clearer. So now we will zoom in. Am I talking quieter this time? If I am, I'm, I'm, I apologize. The, the house is quieter today, so that's made me go quieter. Okay, imagine this head split in three. And it starts like this. This, this gives me a better idea of what I want to do. What I want to do is shape this out so that Remembering that we don't want to make the head smaller, we want to keep this this kind of size. So from here to here still, 
we still want that to to happen so make a circle within the circle kind of over here I wish I knew how to explain better then maybe halfway down your circle let's say there's a bit of a dip and we do a diagonal line like this okay then here's a trick as well all right and as I'm thinking about this I'm realizing that this head is too far back but let me show you how I realized that the ear this is actually something I learned from my chiropractor the way posture is supposed to go your elbow your elbow <laughs> your shoulder lines up with your ear that's how it's supposed to be so that's how you know where the ear should go that's a really good trick too unless you know they you want them to have bad posture because that could make their personality as well like if somebody was more slouched then you know the shoulder wouldn't line with the ear it would be it works for poses as well and stuff but we'll get into that another time as well I feel like I've said that about a dozen times diagonal line this coming out of the ear just a little and have a join up now if you're used to doing anime or manga this is pretty much what you leave it at and then you just have the face and but for stylized you want to have more of a shape so small very small little circle over here we're gonna make a little nose then you want to put this out a little let me change the color again just to black just to show just keep that little circle in mind then you make a tiny diagonal line and a tiny one going down tiny diagonal line tiny one again so that's kind of this shape okay and then have this so it's like this and that's how a mouse goes and like this I didn't get into this in the last because it wasn't part of the silhouette but I feel like this is so once again for placement the halfway mark the halfway mark is about here but the halfway mark of the head is about here so remember that's where you'd put the eyes then halfway between here and here nose halfway between here sorry here and here mouth and see the same rules still apply that's maybe a little high anyway you get the idea i think that's everything if you have questions feel free to ask okay bye guys thank you so much for watching if you like it please give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends especially fellow artists i would so appreciate the support also, subscribe to see more videos like this one. I am so excited to make them. Goodbye for now, good luck, and see you next time.